Hey, thanks for joining us. Last week we had the Jacksonville Jags cheerleaders, the Roar, who were here. Today we're joined by two from the Minnesota Vikings cheerleader, Blair and Missy, and we thank you for uh, for joining us. Tough trip, Oprah, or was it an easy trip? It was actually a really easy trip. Mm -hmm. We had some great food, watched some movies, and we were in London before we knew it. And then as soon as you arrive, you have to go to Wembley for the Play 60 event. That's right, we did. We do Play 60 back home, and we had a great time. Um, it was It's fun to participate in an event with the entire organization. And yeah, I mean, the, you guys are only doing your cheerleader thing with the, uh, with the youngsters. Is cheerleading the same here as it is in the United States? You know, we were actually really surprised. They picked it up so fast. We talked about some cheer, some mm -hmm. dances, some of our um, traditional cheer moves, and they, they took it like water. So they, they did a great job. So coming in, what did you guys expect, you know, from you do, you do the Play 60 in America and then you come here? What were your expectations? Um, I think we're all just extremely open-minded. Yep. We have nothing but high expectations for this experience, knowing that it's going to be fantastic. Mm -hmm. With every interaction and every opportunity, we just, we're grateful and we're so happy to be here. And then um, you guys come in, you'll be cheering at the game on Sunday, but also doing something on Saturday at the, uh, at the block party. But let's move to, to Sunday. Have you ever seen any games from Britain being shown back in America? I actually have not. Mm -hmm. They're like a Super Bowl-like production, so yep. I'm just so excited and so honored to be a part of it this year. Well, see there, you get to take a look at that's uh, you know with the, uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers coming through with the San Francisco 49ers, the New York Jets, the New England Patriots, uh, New York Giants. You know, so many teams have uh, have come in, and uh, you know the cheerleaders have come in. And the thing is that you guys will see is that in the audience there'll be jerseys from numerous football teams, basically all the football teams in the National Football League, but I'm sure you're hoping the Minnesota Vikings are the dominant ones. We're hoping to see a lot of purple in the stands. <laughs> mm -hmm. We welcome all NFL fans. We're just really excited to be able to expand the NFL fan base here in the UK. So how is it going to be for you guys? Well, you know, Minnesota is your home venue at Minnesota, but now you're coming over here. This is a, a home venue for you guys here. How is it going to be for you to try to get the crowd going? You know, we have a, a bunch of cheers prepared. Okay. A ton of dances. So, um, I know a lot of our fans at home are used to our, our usual routines, but getting those fans excited through cheering and through dancing and get them to participate with us, that's mm -hmm. our, our main goal on game day. Well, when you're at a, at a game, are you more concerned with pumping the team up or are you more concerned with pumping the people in the stands up? Um, I would say we're definitely, our priority is the fans. Mm -hmm. um, we, we know that those football players are taking care of themselves. They've got plans of their own. And we just want to keep the fans motivated and keep reminding them that it's important to cheer and that their role on game day is just as important as ours. So mm -hmm. we like to get them motivated. Well, here's one for you, uh, Missy, since uh, you just ended here. Um, Stephen Field asks on uh, Twitter, what are your opinions of NFL games being held in United Kingdom? You got it. All right, Steve. Well, most definitely, we're very thrilled to be here in the UK. Um, the NFL and the Vikings are so excited about expanding our fan base over um, in the United Kingdom, and we think this is a perfect venue to do it. We know that the fans here in the UK are um, very enthusiastic, and we think that cheering for the American football is just going to be one more way to... to expand that excitement and, and cheer. Okay, thanks for that one. Here's one from uh, Daniel Travis. He said, how different will it be cheering for the team in London instead of Minneapolis? That's for you, Blair. Well, it will be different. I mm -hmm. mean, we're not going to be in our home home dome, but um, we're just really excited to be able to give the fans of the UK a little bit of taste of home from Minnesota and show them what we do on game day, what we practice and work really hard to get the fans excited. So for you guys uh, cheering, I know you have different types of music. What's your, your favorite type of music to, uh, to cheer to? Well, I am a unique person on the team because <laughs> mm -hmm. I actually, my favorite genre of music is rock. Oh, okay. So I love everything from the classic, you know, 80s rock all the way to the current. So, so, so Gene Simmons doing a national anthem. What about you, Missy? Mm -hmm. Oh no, I, I'm with her. I love rock, but I also am a big fan of that hip hop. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. So, two a uh, little bit different here. <laughs> but here's one for you again, Missy. Uh, Alex Ages says, uh, "What made you want to become a cheerleader for an NFL team?" Sure. Um, well, like many of the girls on the team, we've been dancers or cheerleaders for most of our lives, and mm -hmm. taking it to the next step in a professional cheerleading career is just the icing on the cake. Um, getting to be part of such a huge organization that's recognized and esteemed so highly. In, in America has been such a privilege and I think that we all just dream of you know reaching that professional level in something that we're so passionate about so for me it was just taking the next step and being so grateful now that I've been here for five years but also you know cheerleading people need to know that cheerleading is not the only things that you guys do so what's your quote-unquote day job 
So outside of cheering, mm -hmm. I'm actually a third grade teacher in my hometown. So we keep busy schedules, but I, I wouldn't trade it for so the world. So third grade is what age? Third grade is eight year olds. Okay, and uh, and you? <laughs> yes, I'm also in education. I actually work um, with middle and high school students for dropout prevention. So trying to keep kids in school and stay motivated, and, and education is so important. Okay, so here's a, another one for for you, Blair. Um, from the 49ers UK, um, how did you get into cheerleading? I actually started as a dancer when I was two years old. And so I danced all the way through high school, all through mm -hmm. college. And when I was 13, my sister was actually on the Minnesota Vikings cheerleaders as well. Okay, family thing, huh? It's a, runs okay. in the family. Mom, so. grandma, did they do it <laughs> yeah. too? No. Okay, no, well, Bud no, Grant no. way back in the day. <laughs> yeah, okay, all right. But my sister was on the team. And so I remember going to the games and watching her and just falling in love with um, the fans and the routines they get to do and all the community outreach that the team gets to do on a regular basis and it's been my goal since I was 13 and three years. I don't mean to put this pressure on you, but who was better, you or your sister? Oh, uh, it's a tie. Mm -hmm. a tie. It's a tie? It's a tie. Okay, I can work with a tie. Here's another one from the 49ers UK for you, Missy. In your spare time, um, do you get to meet mingle with the Viking players? You know, we get asked that question all the time. Yep. And um, just like most work environments, we're very professional with our colleagues. And we consider the players some of our colleagues. And so we do not do a lot of interacting outside of our work, mm -hmm. um, our working time, which is game day and appearances. But other than that, we just have a very strictly professional relationship. So we don't really see them a ton outside of work. Okay, well, here's one uh, for Lee Safmilia for, for you, Blair. He says, uh, how many of the cheerleaders are married? I'd say actually over half of them are. Oh, okay. It was kind of an influx this year. Yeah. We had, I think, 11 weddings this summer between their current or past Minnesota Vikings cheerleaders. So either they're either engaged or they're married. All right. So uh, in, in a cheerleader squad, how many cheerleaders are you talking about being in the squad? There are 35 of us. So all 35 are, are yeah. here? Yes. There are, there are 10 right now, and then the rest come today. Oh, okay. So, they, so you two guys like, like the spoiled ones. You get to totally travel spoiled. early, huh? So, so is this your first trip to London? This is. So, oh, so yeah. I mean, so you just had the things that you have to see. Have you been able to do any sightseeing as of as of yet? Yes. After, yesterday, after we did the Play 60 event, mm -hmm. we actually had an opportunity to go down to Central London, take the tube for the first time, which was such a great such a great experience. It's so fast. Mm -hmm. but we had to go Central London Eye, Westminster Abbey, um, Big Ben, and Parliament. Yep. Uh, we go. saw Buckingham Palace. Mm -hmm. So, are the things that uh, you know that you say the thing that stood out for me the most was oh, the mall. By Buckingham Palace, it was absolutely, it's called the Mall, I believe. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, absolutely gorgeous. Mm. I mean, everywhere you looked, I took a panoramic picture of it because everywhere you looked, it just was gorgeous the architecture. So, the so my producer says to me, mm -hmm. it's the mall, the, not the mall. the mall. The mall is where you go shopping. The mall. The mall. <laughs> you call it the mall? The mall? The mall. There we yeah. go. <laughs> yeah. Spell the need, same. Spell need, the same. Do I need to change it to the mall? Should I say that? The mall? You know. Okay. Now you know. Now you know. But, but you, for you guys, back in America, mm -hmm. um, do a lot of different things. You're talking about being a school teacher, doing the stuff, and you know, you got the rock and the hip hop. Best concerts you've ever been to? Hands on in sync. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's vintage. I am such a dork. I've been to every in sync concert when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, no. I, am, yeah. I was going to yes. go with one in that. I, my favorite concert I've been to is a Britney Spears concert because I just love a good show. She puts okay. on a great show. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. All right, well, Saturday, you have, like I say, you have the, uh, the block party Saturday. You'll be doing some cheering there. Sunday is the game. What's the outcome? Give us a score line of, of the outcome of the game. That's a good question. Oh, boy. It's not be a blowout. I'm thinking we're going to have 34 to 3. 34 to 3. So, so you ain't got to worry about losing at the end of the game as usual, huh? You got to have them like, get on the scoreboard a little bit. Oh, yeah, totally. They're barely going to get on. Just barely a little. Yeah, just a little bit. Blair and Missy and the other cheerleaders will be performing on Soccer AM. So make sure you are checked it out. Also, make sure you check in for our Thursday football action. We'd love to have you join us. And Saturday, if you can make it to the block party, please do. Sunday, we'll see you at 530 at game time. Until then, from the teams, bye for now. Bye-bye.